Um, how do you feel about these uh, last few days of gains? Well, it's more of the same, up and down. Uh, there's a titanic tug of war going on between the owners of, of financial assets and the, the shorts and the momentum traders. And so it's very, very volatile, more volatile, I think, than the underlying reality of, of, of the global economy. Okay, but, uh, you know, we got some good news in the session. You know, U.S. economic data topped estimates again. That includes the ISM for the services sector. And then we have Angela Merkel, the German chancellor, finally coming out in very distinct words, saying that the banks will be shielded somewhat from what's happening in Europe. But is that enough to maybe turn markets around? I think it's helpful. It certainly is helpful. Uh, financial stocks around the globe are priced for... A very, very difficult uh, forward environment. And, and you're right, we do have some reasonable data points coming through. The ADP number wasn't so bad in the United States. I can't say it was great, but it wasn't bad. Auto sales topped 13 million last month. Uh, that's up from less than 12 million in the, uh, in the prior year. So there are a few reasonable data points that are creeping in to, uh, I think, uh, uh, underpin uh, maybe a better than a worst case scenario. Okay, better than worst case scenario, but are you pricing in maybe a final quarter rally for this year? Because we heard from the uh, investment strategist of pension partners in New York. He's saying we are headed for the mother of all counter trend rallies in equities into the end of this year. I don't think so much quarter to quarter, Susan. Uh, at, at, at Thornburg Investment Management, we try to buy value. Um, we try to buy absolute value. Uh, in the largest fund that I run, our investment income builder fund, uh, we try to buy income and growing streams of income. And I think it's a challenging environment as we look out, but uh, we like the telecom service stocks. Uh, there's pretty good income in the energy stocks as we look around the world. Uh, and even in certain financial stocks, better than average income. So uh, the, the, the environment for income, as difficult as it is in, in the bond market, has actually gotten yeah. more interesting in the equity market with equity prices going down. Okay, so there's value, right? You're going into bottom pick at these bargain basement prices. That's, that's exactly what we're trying to do. Uh, I, I call it possession offense. Uh, so it's, it's not going for the quick score, but it's trying to, uh, to, to basically stay in possession of good income and enduring income. And if we can do that, then we can meet our investors' goals. Yeah, and Brian, you're saying that there's value here in the Asia pack as well. You, you like uh, the telecoms, like China Mobile is one of your picks. China Mobile is one of our picks. China Mobile has got a bulletproof balance sheet. Uh, significant net cash, very significant net cash, a bit over a 4% yield. Uh, we like having exposure to the, to the RMB, even though we own the Hong Kong listed stock. The entire business is in RMB. Uh, we, we see China doing interesting things, China Mobile doing interesting things with 4G. They have over 8 yeah. million iPhone subscribers on their network, and they don't even sell the iPhone. So, right. and, 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 and last but not least, over 600 million subscribers. So no, right. no one, one little thing can, can dent their armor, I don't believe. 